the Kafari. Hello. Hello, welcome to our private uh, roof garden. I hope you I enjoy. know. Beautiful location, beautiful setting, and what great views. <laughs> Stunning. Why are you here? I, for the first time, I'm going to actually participate in the Barcelona, but I'm also here as an ambassador for the event. So they spent a year developing the sustainability message. And this year, just today, they've launched the next message for leading up to the next Barcelona of diversity and inclusion. And as a female sailor in a very male dominated sport, having just led a mixed team around the world, it's very true to my heart. And one of the message of the Barcelona this year was uh take the plastic off the sea and off the ocean. What do you think about? Have you seen the Alice the fish in Piazza Unita? Alice the fish is a perfect um, image to use for the children, for the youth that are coming to visit the race village. They see it, it's visual and they start to understand. I think every day as individuals we interact with plastic and we have to make the right decision when we choose what we buy and what we use and I really encourage everybody to try and reduce or stop their single-use plastic. So use a refillable bottle, don't buy a takeaway cup, use a refillable cup and just try and change your habits. Try one every couple of weeks and you'll be amazed at what you can do because it really does make a difference if every single one of us makes a change. There's seven billion people on our planet and together we can make a big change for the health of our planet. You've got to see in the ocean belong to everyone. It does, and there's more ocean than there is land, so it definitely is the barometer for our, our planet's health, and we need to look after it. Um, you, you did the six, six time uh, the Vendée Globe, and uh, you did the Vendée Globe backward <laughs> and forward. Yeah, so I've been around the world six times. Yeah. Um, I've done it twice in the what's considered the wrong direction, so against the prevailing winds and currents. There are statistically more men that went to the moon than, than women that went around the world on the, on the boat. Well, there's more people in general that have been to the moon than have been around the world, single-handed, non-stop. So I definitely tick that box, but I'm definitely the only woman that sailed around the world, non-stop, single-handed in both directions. What, what are the sensations? You always still have a certain respect for Mother Nature because she's definitely in control and you just try and manage that. And some days are good days, some days are bad days but the good days always outweigh the bad and I genuinely love being out on the water and so I love what I get the chance to do and I feel very lucky. But six times around the world, but this will be my first Barcelona. <laughs> what do you think about the Gulf? There is some uh, tricky point that you're uh, afraid of? Not afraid, but it, it's like a magical area. It, everyone talks about it and everyone says, you know, there's either the Bora wind or there's no wind but I still can't quite get my head around 1,700 boats on the start line on Sunday. The same start line. I mean, I don't think there's anywhere in the world that does that. So I can't wait to be part of that spectacle. I think the start is uh, something that uh, scares a lot of uh, sailors. I'm just grateful that I'm not responsible for the boat I'm on. <laughs> I'm just going to be a guest and I will do what I'm told by the skipper and I will just be rather his problem than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We let you enjoy the evening and the beautiful view from the Generali building. Thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you.